All right. <laughs> I have to warn you folks about something on this ship because I'm not an experienced gambler by any means. Any, any means. But I play enough slot machines to be fairly familiar with them. But I did something yesterday that almost cost me a ton, a ton of money. So normally I'm a max better, which is normally anywhere from $3.80 to say $6 is normally a maximum bet, right? Um, but on some of the machines here on the Sun Princess, it's, it's more than that. The $6 bet is on a one cent thing. Now, I'm totally inexperienced at this. I usually just sit down, I see it says $6, I hit the $6 and I bet. That's what I'm doing. But, <laughs> I went over and I said, oh, why is it on one cent? I put on 10 cents and that still says $6 here on the side. I said, okay, I'll play the $6 and that. And so, bam, I hit it. I, put, I had put $200 in the machine and bam, 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 click, click, huh? Click, 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 click. I'm out of money. My $200 is gone. It's down to a dollar eighty. And I'm going, whoa, whoa. I, I spun four times. Where'd my $200 go? Apparently I was betting $50 a bet at 10 cents. Apparently, in very small writing, <laughs> underneath where it says $6, it says multiplied by this amount. And so I was betting over $50 a bet. I quickly cashed out my $1.88 <laughs> and ran from that machine. But I started to notice it on other machines as well. And if it can catch you really, like I didn't even look. I, I was just immediately you know you don't look your first couple of spins right and then my money was instantly gone now luckily for me i went out over to another machine i put another 200 dollars in it i put it back on the one cent hit the six dollars saw it only charge me six dollars and then okay i said now i was safe and i won my 200 dollars back so i broke even but i was still thinking about that afterwards going Wow, wow, that caught me off guard because I think the buttons, you know, it shouldn't say $6 with a multiplier of 5 or 10 or whatever it is. It should change to the amount you're betting. Now, there apparently there is a little box. There was a little box about this big down at the bottom of my giant light up screen in front of me that said, you are betting this much. <laughs> But yeah, foolish me, stupid me, uh, inexperienced gambler me, instantly lost $200 in less, less than 30 seconds. Just like that. How crazy is that? Um, <laughs> you should, like, <laughs> I wasn't drinking. I wasn't doing anything. I just sitting in the casino waiting for, for a show to happen. I said, oh, I'll bet some money. Why not? I haven't gambled yet. <laughs> foolish foolish me foolish foolish me because yeah that was that was scary and everything but uh okay so that's my gambling story and now i want to tell you i i did go and see the performers today rehearsing a little bit and in case anyone's want, thinking that you know what you just you just have some dancers on a stage. You just choreograph a number in a room someplace. And then when you get to the cruise ship, you just have to, you know, okay, this is your space. It takes about a day to get used to the space. And then you should be able to put that performance on the stage. Take a look at how many people are in this area 
that are rehearsing with one dancer to get her moves for one scene in one segment of a performance of one show. It's incredible. Here, let me show you what I saw. Okay, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. We have lots of folks working around me as they're setting up their first Broadway stage production. But I just wanted to show you. Look how many people are on stage right now. That's not to mention all the people around that have to work on one dancer, one choreography, one movement. Look all the people involved in making that. And if you're wondering, well, why aren't the shows ready? <laughs> That's one movement to get ready. So there's a lot involved in the production numbers. And of course, they want to make sure they choreograph everything safely for the dancers. And that's why there's so many people there to double check, get the sound right, get the cues right with the lighting and the rest of the cast directors. So that's why sometimes good shows take a little longer to get ready. Isn't that incredible? Now I didn't, I wasn't able to show you everybody. There were people who were in the sound booth, checking the sound. There are people with the lighting, working with the lighting reflection. Where's the spots gonna go? Is it gonna blind her eyes when she's up there? Aim, uh, aim the lights in a certain area. When she starts to go down, the light has to go off of her so it, she can see. There are, you know, the, the rope safety. What moves is safe to do and that she won't get her feet tied up in that mast area. There And there were like seven choreographers and production staff and backstage staff all around watching one dancer get ready for one segment of that show. Is That's just one little portion of a 45 minute show. Isn't that crazy how many people are involved? And all in the background, there are other people who have helped design the show, who have created the show, and they were making sure that it was still true to form of what their vision was of the show, etc. There is so much work involved. And like I said, that's just one. That's just one single move and maneuver. And they have to do that for all the new shows, for all the dancers, for everything they're doing. So yeah, and now this one might be a little more involved than some of the other production shows, but it's, I just wanted to give you an example of the back stuff that goes on backstage, because a lot of people just think you can go into a room and then you can get onto the stage and it's the same thing. You should be able to get ready within a couple days. Well, as you see, it's now completely different because now you're on a circular stage that's moving with multiple parts and new stage pieces that just arrived, etc. I kind of, I kind of like very impressed, very impressed at how much work is involved in putting on those shows that I love so much on those cruise ships. And it gives me a whole new appreciation of the hard work everyone behind the scenes, as well as the dancers and singers, put in for our entertainment. And uh, yeah, that's why I love all the shows on the cruise ships.